Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today is the, another RTA mouth to lung, the COG RTA from Watofo. Um, <coughs> I've been vaping this now for nearly a week. But before we talk about it, the cons and the pros, let's go down to the week ago when I first built the deck and we'll talk about more in a minute. Right, so this is the Watofo um, COG mouth to long RTA. Um, it comes like this in a box, it's got a cover on top of it. I put it someplace. Now, I have been messing around with this tank. First of all, I always clean the tanks properly before I use them. And I came across a problem straight away when I first got this tank. But this is the cog. It does look nice, yes. But I must tell you that when you take it apart, it does feel a bit cheapy. Okay, so the problem I came across with is the top cap. It hasn't got no knurling, so it's fairly difficult to turn. In the beginning, after you lubricate it with some VG or, or e-liquid, it's much easier. But anyway, I you open up the cap, and what you see is is a screw in there that holds this section to the chimney. Now, when I first undone this, this section was stuck to here. So when I actually opened the cap, this whole top thing with the screw was one unit and the chimney just was loose inside i couldn't separate these two i'll show you what i mean okay so let's you know let's open up the deck and we'll put that aside for a minute we'll go through that in a minute so here's the chimney and it's connected by a screw to the top of the tank now if i open this You'll see what I mean. Okay, this is the screw. This is the top section here. Now this was stuck to here with the screw and the inside of it. And the chimney was laying loose. Um, and I had um, quite a struggle to open. I just couldn't separate them. Um, I couldn't separate this screw from from, the, from this bit here. So what I've done is like the old trick you put in the freezer and it loosens the grip a bit and uh, I managed to, to take it off after 20 minutes in the freezer. But anyway, that, that was my first impression with this thing. Then, so this feels cheapy my opinion i mean this is this is not metal this is plastic this is another plastic i will we'll talk about it on top the exact scientific name for this material but this is in plain english plastic um and i'm always nervous with the plastic that it might get cracked by uh, by overdoing the sc the screw or something i'm not sure anyway let's put this back so if you want to clean you need to go through this procedure every single time in order to secure the chimney to the top bit okay so now this is secure so that's what it looks like. The, the, the size of the chimney indicates already that it should be good flavor. Now, I heard quite a lot of good things about this flavor. So we're going out to the deck. The deck is, you can see the post are spring mounted. Um, so it helps to put in the coil. It's a very straightforward deck. Juice, juice wells on either side, very straightforward. 
we'll put it on my Vaporasso swag. I'm not sure if you're going to see the review of the swag before the cargo after. And then we're going to talk about the airflow. But before we talk about the airflow, I forgot to show you the main, I don't know if it's a gimmick or the cog system inside. If you can see, when you turn it, you'll see the the cogs turn. Um, and on the base itself, you've got these little notches. And that is the sizes from 0 0.8. You can see a little arrow um, pointing over the chosen air hole. Now, I could hardly see this arrow. Um, looking at it now, my reading glasses, I can see it, but it's a very tiny one. Um, yeah, so basically it moves from 0 0.8, I think, to 1 point... Uh, I wrote it down, 1.6. So 0 0.8 is not the most uh, mouse to, uh, restricted mouse to long, and 1.6 it's fairly airy. Okay, we'll see soon how the airflow um, is. Okay, so let's start building the deck. Now, I've used the, you see, they've got here, they supply you with um, a 0 0.8 ohm coil. Um, 30 yeah you can see it yourself and that coil i'm going to use actually um, and they also supply you with the screws and o-rings here you've got cotton i'm going to use my own in any case and here they give you another 1.2 ohm coil so i'm going to go with the 0 0.8 two and a half millimeter coil okay they also give you a nice screwdriver so that comes in handy now I already cut these leads to make it easier for me to do it on on camera and I'm not so sure if it's so easier now because it's much shorter but we'll see how it goes Okay, let's tighten up the post. The deck looks good quality and very easy to put in a coil. Okay, the coil is in and it's fairly central. Um, you want to maybe lower it a bit just to get it straight over the airflow below. Now underneath is like a, I forgot to show you that on the deck, but it's like a little screw underneath the coil. So that I assume is where the airflow is. Um, let me just move it a bit to the left. Okay, I think this is quite central. Let's wick it. Right. Here we go. Okay, so it gets a little resistance, but not too much. Um, just enough for you to wiggle it back and forth and now we'll just cut the so what I always do I always bend the cotton to the bottom of the juice well so like this I've got enough cotton looks 
Kredinde I didn't uh, dry fire this coil because I already did it before. Um, let's just make sure it's the right. Yep, it's the right size. Perfect. Give it a good fluff because you don't want it all tangled. You want it loose and fluffy. And feed them in <coughs> into the juice well. One done, next one to go. It's very easy to to work on this deck. I mean, it's a classic. Um, I just want to cut. I see there is here a bit sticking out. I didn't cut the leads all the way. I don't want to get a short. So I'll just, where did I see it here? That's it. Oops. Whenever you cut a coil, special, especially a fused, never pull because that takes it apart. Always cut like decisively n without pulling it. Okay, so this is done. All coiled and wicked. Now you can see the wick appearing through the juice well here. Um, over here so like this it could absorb the liquid from either side right i'm going to use the ry4 makas from juice cabin i got a review on it it's a very nice ry4 tobacco liquid uh, give this a head start don't oversaturate just enough for it to get a bit wet so it absorbs quicker. Now I always put a bit of liquid on the on the um, threading here. So like this, if you want to open up the deck to change a coil or to rework, it's, it'll be easier for you to do. Um, this just makes sense to eliminate future problems and also I do this in the threading inside the chimney itself just a bit of liquid not much and just saves hassle later Okay, this is uh, now done. Now the airflow, um, I would leave it on. Uh, where's the arrow? You see, that's the problem. You need to see where the arrow is so you know where where you're holding. In this airflow, uh, sometimes difficult to find because of this battery um, housing on this mod. Uh, and one advantage there is with this airflow, besides this whole cog thing, that it stops and either max or minimum. Okay, the coil came up at a zero point a zero point seven three, and it's supposed to be a zero point eight. So that's f okay. Um, fill up the juice. Now this is a 3 mil version. I got it from China and I paid under 20 pounds, but we'll talk about it on top more. And okay, let's make some room here. Okay, so <laughs> here's the tank all done up 
Let's give it a vape. Oh, the, the flavor is very good already, I can tell. But the airflow is quite airy. It looks to me like I'm on the maximum. On the widest opening, the 1.6. So let me reduce it. Mm, see the arrow is just behind this battery thing okay so now I know where it's hiding I can put it on the minimum you get this lovely clicking noise when you turn the airflow so that's the cogs turning um, this is now the minimum Yeah, this is much better for me, but I suspect that for some people they would like it tighter. So if this is the minimum, mm. if this is the minimum, mm, people might not um, be so happy because this is not a very tight mouse to lung. No. But the flavor is superb. Okay, we'll talk about it um, a bit more, quite a bit more, um, in a week's time. I'm going to now vape this for a while and see how I get on with it. And if I came across any problems, and I'll finish this review, uh, hopefully, in a week's time. But for you, uh, you'll see me in a second. Right, so a few pointers I already said below on the table uh, angle. <coughs> I had major problems with it in the beginning with the top cap. Now, as a whole, I got on with this tank very nicely indeed. I didn't have no problems, no leaks. Um, flavor is top notch. It does look nice. I mean, I cleaned it since, and I re-wicked three times. But I do like this look. That's a, a pro for it. The the airflow is very easy to use. You just turn the cogs, and you've got these. Um, that's the only problem. It's very hard to see on which airflow you're at. You have to find, you see here it's hidden behind this battery cap. But I am on the minimum and that is one big con for me. I like my mouse too long. <coughs> one minute. I like my mouse too long fairly tight. Um, I do apologize having this in my ear because I'm waiting for a very important phone call. And if that comes, I'm going to have to pause it. Hope it doesn't come within the next few minutes while I'm doing this review. As usual, the postman either rings the door or someone calls me. <laughs> anyway, um, the airflow on the minimum is just about right. Just about right. If I put that in the maximum, you can hear the clicks. I like that. Now this is now on the maximum. How do I know? Because it comes to a stop. Because for me to find this arrow is not easy. <laughs> it's an airy mouse to long. You can't direct long it. No. No way. So definitely it is a mouse to lung. But it's not as tight as other mouse to lungs are. Although I don't like it super tight. For instance, I've got here the um, MD mouse to lung. Yeah. If I put this on the, on the smallest hole, hmm, it's too tight. 
but uh, uh, someone's got the option. So I keep this on number three or four, if you watch my review, that gives me a very nice mouth to lung. On the uh, Extramizer V4, I keep it on fully open, fully open, and it's perfect mouth to lung. If I would have put this down all the way down, you have to be careful with the juice flow here. You always hold the middle section before you turn the top section. It's too tight. So for me, I like to have it tight, but not too tight. Yeah. So this one here is good enough for me. On the minimum, it's perfect. But some people would like it a bit tighter. That's what I feel. For me, it's good. Looks, it looks very nice, I must say, against the MD. Same, I'm so happy with this mod. I bought two. One for the MD and one for the COG. And I sometimes I put my um, Dynasty Hellvape direct along on it as well but you can see it's more or less the same size but the quality the build quality on the MD is much better and so is the extra miser and so is all my other RTAs <coughs> this is the cheapest feel to it from all of them but when I think about it and if you're careful this would last for many years if you're careful they don't give you a spare and that I'm very surprised they don't give you a spare unless I didn't look properly at the time open these boxes is also one big job uh, I don't think they give you a spare and that is, is, is a con because this is plastic glass yeah glass can fall and crack and they give you a spare one, most of them. A bubble glass or something. Um, this, I'm always nervous, it'll crack by... by the um, screwing and unscrewing the, the top bit. It might crack the threading, I don't know. No, no spare glass. And they should have given you a spare plastic, sorry, not glass, spare plastic. Um, because it might crack when you open up that screw in the middle to undo the chimney to clean your tank to clean the this section of the tank yeah also when you when you screw the deck onto the actual plastic anything to do with plastic can crack so i'm surprised they didn't give you an extra one the sizes is a 22 millimeter by 34 millimeter without the drip tip I'll put all the specification below. The airflow, is it a gimmick? I don't know, but it's very smooth. Very smooth airflow. Very smooth airflow. Oh, I need to, I need to make this put this on the right hole it is a smooth airflow I like the idea of the cog how it controls the airflow but any airflow is just as effective yeah top airflow as well um, so I'm not sure is it a gimmick or not but it works um, I paid for it, and this is, comes to show you again. I waited and I bought it from China for 19 pounds, 97 pence, 24 dollars. So for, nine, for less than 20 pounds, UK pound sterling, definitely worth it. I wouldn't have paid a lot more for it. It's nice. It performs, it's got very good flavor, but the fact that it's plastic, I'm always nervous it'll crack. 
the top capper had major, major trouble. Major trouble. I mean, now it's easy because I lubricated it, but before I had the chance to put in anything, it just came apart, as I've shown you before. Um, but now that I've put in VG in it, um, I mentioned earlier silicon. God forbid, <laughs> don't put silicon. Yeah, okay. Um, but now it opens and closes fairly easy. Very easy, in fact. I'm happy with this tank. I mean, it's a good flavor. Very good flavor. In fact, I will say it's excellent flavor. And that's what kept me keeping it, not to give it away. Someone wanted to buy it off me, and I said, no, I want to keep it because it's very good flavor. Very good flavor. Airflow is smooth. It looks very nice. It does have an appeal to this clear glass. But you know, if you watched my review on the k Light, I had this clear cap as well, and it looked stunning. Stunning. I prefer the k look with look with the, with the metal top, steel, whatever it is. But it does have an attraction on this clear, the visual effect of it, yeah. Shame I can't see the cog here, if it would have been clear or something. But that's what it is. And is it worth buying? For sure. The flavor is excellent. The airflow is smooth. It looks nice. But you have to be careful on the quality of this build. It doesn't feel very sturdy. feels a bit cheap. Um, yeah, and the airflow works okay. If you, if, you don't li if you like it super tight, you can't get it super tight. This is on the minimum, and it's like number, number three on my MD. Mm -mm. The three is even tighter. It's probably on the four of the MD. I don't mind it because I don't like it super tight in any case. Um, but if you like an open, airy mouse to long, definitely you can use this on the highest. I think it is, um, I wrote it down someplace. Yeah, 1.6 millimeters is, is the biggest hole, and the smallest is 0 0.8. Then it goes to 1, 1 1.2, 1.4, 1.6. So 1.6 is very quite airy. And 0 0.8, if it would have been 0 0.6, 4, um, 6, it would have been a tighter mouse to long. But this is definitely a mouse to long. You can't direct long it, no matter what you, even in the highest, on a 1.6 millimeter. Yeah, so all in all, I'm quite happy with this, especially for the price I paid for it. Um, never rush. I always say it again and again. Never rush. Wait, you get good deals. Um, what else could I tell you about this tank? I'll leave everything um, below. You got It's a 2 mil or 3 mil, depends where you live. I think in the USA it's a 3 mil. A, a DPD is... So this is a 3 mil. Um... Uh, what else could I tell you? Wattage range is from 50 to 30 watts. Depends what kind of coil. They tell you the recommended, uh, recommended ohm value is uh, between 0 0.4 to 1.8 ohm. So it makes sense, the wattage. Um, what else could I tell you? This is made out of PCTG. Plastic in plain English. Maybe it's a bit stronger than, than, than plastic. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Stainless steel. German peak insulator. Okay, you can read it below. Yeah, I think I covered the review on the COG mouse to long RTA. To sum up, I'm quite happy with it for the flavor, for the looks, as long as it lasts. And the airflow is very smooth. And um, yeah, that's it. Very good tank. The RY4 is very nice liquid indeed. 
and tastes very good in this tank. Okay, I think I covered this review. So you get, I hope you got the impression what I think of it with the cons and the pros. The, the pros overrule the cons, really, because the flavor is absolutely superb. I'm sure people are going to talk about the flavor of this tank, but they're going to also mention, and if they didn't, they should, about the things that I mentioned here about little cons I found with this tank. Um, but maybe it was mine, I got it exactly, the manufacturer didn't, it, it failed this, the, the safety check, I don't know what they did, the quality check, that it was stuck, the bottom bit to the top bit, but I had some job of taking it apart. We'll see how we get on in the months ahead, if it cracks the, gla the plastic or the chimney breaks or something, it does feel a bit cheapy, but if it lasts, so who cares if it's glass or not. You know, glass can drop and crack, and this, I don't think, will crack so quick. So that's also one way of looking at it. Okay, anyways, all right. I hope you enjoyed this review. Until the next time, take care. Bye-bye for now.